Yo, 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 my people. So maybe you're a builder in Bloxburg and you're getting a little bit bored, or maybe you just don't know what else to build because you feel like you've built everything. Well, don't worry because today I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas that I have for builds. And maybe you've heard some of them, but maybe there'll be something in this list that will spark inspiration or that you haven't thought of yourself. The first idea I have, of course, is a dream house build. And this is mine. I would just say to do that because literally this is probably the most fun I've ever had building in Bloxburg, honestly. Like there's nothing more fun than just like putting all your dreams into a house, like no joke. <laughs> and also if you're like me, then you have a bajillion dream houses. So even though I only have one, I am surely gonna have like a bajillion by the time I die that I build in Bloxburg. <laughs> so that's something you could just like keep doing forever and ever. Another idea would be to build an in real life restaurant like McDonald's, Starbucks or Starblocks as some people do in Bloxburg, Pizza Hut, etc. This just goes for almost anything you could find in real life, whether it's a restaurant or a store or whatever the case may be, you can just recreate that and that's really fun sometimes. Keep in mind that the order of these doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm just saying what I have on my list here, I've kind of tried to organize them, but whatever. Number three is to recreate a room, house, or scene from a show or movie that you watch. Number four is kind of similar. You could build a house or room or something for your favorite characters from books, movies, or shows. So like either build their actual house or room room from the show or whatever it is or like imagine what their house or room would look like and then build that for them or something in their style if that makes sense. Number five is to build in a style that you aren't used to. Can you tell that some of these are video ideas that I have <laughs> and have been meaning to do but haven't yet? <laughs> Number six is to mash two styles or aesthetics together. So you could do like modern fairy core or something like that or like Victorian mixed in with I don't know preppy some how. <laughs> Number seven is to build an apartment building and do each apartment in a different style or for different characters, kind of like everything else I've just mentioned recently. <laughs> Number eight, I think it's no secret that everyone or a lot of people anyway want this in Bloxburg, so you could just build one for yourself, build a school. Number nine is something I've done in The Sims and I might do it in Bloxburg, I've been thinking about it lately, is to recreate your house or your childhood home. And I know some of you are still in childhood, that's why I said one or the other. Other, but once you're growing up, it's such a cool thing just to like recreate the house you grew up in and just all the memories and to like see it virtually is kind of crazy and mind blowing. <laughs> so that's just a fun one. Number 10 is to build something 3D. So I've built like a 3D daisy and I also made it into a little house and I had a build battle with three of my fans. And so, you know, there's three of them, not just one. But I also have an idea. I don't know if I should be giving this away, but I want to build like a 3D Totoro from my neighbor Totoro. One day. So you could always build something like that for fun and just to like test your building skills in Bloxburg, especially with basic shapes, you know? Number 11 is to rebuild Bloxburg buildings in your own style. So I've seen some people do this on YouTube where they will like rebuild Pizza Planet. I think someone has a whole series of doing this. It might be Alaska Violet. I'm not sure. And I don't even know if she's doing it in her own style, but I just think it'd be cool to just like put your own flair to the town essentially in your own builds. Number 12 is kind of similar is to renovate the pre made houses in the game. And I've done this twice with the cozy cottage and then the like starter starter home and with the cozy cottage I kind of did whatever I wanted to do I did my own thing but then with the starter starter I don't know what it's actually called but with that one I challenged myself to do a 50k budget so just adding fun little things to that to your builds is always makes it more interesting too and that kind of just ties into an idea I have for you which is kind of just its own little thing is just to like look at what challenges youtubers are doing or people are doing in general and like try those out because everyone I feel like has their own flair to it and it turns out different and it's always so cool to see. Number 13 is to build in a specific style of like a region of the world so like maybe a specific country or a specific region like I said like Mediterranean is an idea you know what I mean but that encompasses different countries or sometimes there's like a specific section of a country that has its own style but it's not necessarily the same all over the country. And then number 14 is to do a museum. This is just an idea I had when I was making this list. Like, I don't know if I've seen many museums in Bloxbury and I just think that'd be cool if someone made that. <laughs> Number 15 would be to make a theme park.
park, whether it's like your own kind of Disney World or a water park or whatever kind of theme park you can think of. <laughs> Number 16 is to make a cat cafe or any animal cafe. You can make a dog cafe or a capybara cafe <laughs> or something. Number 17 is a boba shop. I know I've seen Panda Lemon Tart do this. And if you're a boba lover like me, then I want to see your boba shop that you make in Bloxburg. <laughs> Number 18 is like an electronics store and you could like continue that on to a bajillion different ideas. A bookstore. I was gonna originally say furniture store for this one, but then I realized that went with recreating stores that are already in Bloxburg because there is a furniture store. So I was like, I should think of something else. <laughs> but there's so many things you could do that are similar to that. And then number 19 is a big one. You could build a whole town. And with a whole town, that encompasses so many different things. Like every town could have different things in it. That could be like a grocery store, a school, like I already mentioned, furniture store, like I already mentioned, different houses, an apartment building, or maybe a few restaurants. I already said schools, <laughs> hospitals. Like there's so many things that you can go into a town. Just think of your own town where you live, the places you go, and you can put that in your own town or build those things separately as their own thing. And I've made two towns. They're both kind of based in cottagecore. One was supposed to be a cottagecore town, and then one is a daisycore town. And you can see the difference in my building skills because the first one was like earlier last year and this one I'm currently making and the difference is crazy and so I hope as you go through and do a bunch of different kinds of builds over time you'll see your progress and that's just one fun thing about playing Bloxburg too is just seeing your progress and seeing how things change and seeing the new ideas you come up with and stuff like that so I hope that I was able to give you plenty of awesome ideas for you to build for yourself and to keep you entertained <laughs> and inspired but yeah if you found any of this helpful or entertaining at all then please consider subscribing and then you'll also get to see me do some of these ideas myself in the future <laughs> alrighty thank you so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye